four o'clock in the morning. Um, I'm heading to the international airport. Why are we up so early? Place called Chris Maltings. They make malt for brewing beer. Been here before, done tours and stuff, but we're shooting some videos about malt prices. And this is Johnny behind me from Get It Brewed, and I do loads of work with him. So, that's what we're gonna do. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. The worst ringtone. <laughs> It's the process of turning grain into malt for brewing beer. Some interviews, so there's two cameras, the other camera's in there, some lav mic, some shotgun, a whole mix of stuff. So this is the main camera for the day, this is what I'll carry around, sheet the majority of stuff on, and it'll go on, it'll go on top. I got my fancy hard hat, is I can do this? Last time I was here, I tried to walk up those stairs onto that bridge. I got shot at that. You are not allowed up on those stairs and on that bridge. This is a real place with great rye bread. Very small little town, a very big malt factory behind it. You see it nestled, nestled in discreetly behind all the homes. Look at this ridiculous setup. So we've been walking around with these two guys here around this entire malt in area. Well, at the very last minute we've decided we'll do a walking interview. So. Two people, both lab mic'd up, walking around. The problem is I don't have an audio interface with me. I have one at home. The reason I don't bring it to things like this is it's, it's another battery to have to monitor. So my solution was I rigged up my second camera with a gorilla pod on my chest. And then I ran one of the Sennheiser labs onto one of the guys. And then I had the other lab, which is a road lab, on the other camera onto the other guy. This. Uh, shotgun mic, the MKE 600, is just there for emergency use. So I kind of plug it, unplug it. Um, this meant I was able to dual record both cameras while I was walking around with these guys and record the audio and monitor it visually and then flip the headphones between the two cameras. And then I'll sync that multicam in Final Cut Pro. The reason I use the Rode mic is, and the Sennheiser mic, is because Johnny, the one guy, oh, go on there. Um, cause, because the one guy, Johnny, who I do a lot of, his voice sounds better through that road mic than it does the Sennheiser. Everybody else sounds fine in the Sennheisers, but Johnny sounds better in the road mic. <laughs> two hours walking around, up and down all these things, filming these two guys in a lot of steamy hot rooms, not like, like brewery rooms. In and out of loads of different rooms, temperatures, wind, light changing, noise changing. Knackered. <laughs> yeah. Need to get out of here because the dudes want to go. Gonna go to the airport to get a train. So, we're nowhere near the airport. I thought, I honestly thought this was going to Stansted. And that's why I was paying no attention. 
and we are in a town called Peterborough. Clean, like the we, we sniff before you stick it in. <laughs> it's all about the glassware. Well, you can sediment will sit nicely there. Lovely. Lovely. I was imagining a nice empty train journey. It's like a cattle train. Isn't it? Looks like we've seen in India. Four people hang off the side of it. Yeah. It's 10 past midnight. That train journey should have taken four hours. It took almost six. There were problems on the line, there were trains that hit things on the tracks, and everything was delayed because of that. So, ah, oh, hell, I'm tired. Shit on my Did a bird shit on your hand? Shit. No, on my head. Oh, yeah. Here's a look. Lucky. A bird shot on Johnny's head. On his bald head. Right on my bald head. That's amazing. Look. There you go. <laughs> All the way to finish That day. was good. Alright, well. Alright, Colin. See you in the morning. Right, well, in the morning. Yeah. We're here overnight staying in a one star hotel and then getting up. We've have we've been up late for like all day, obviously since three o'clock. So we're gonna get up tomorrow. What time? About seven a.m. Seven, seven fucking a.m. <laughs> in a brewery? No, in a distillery by eight filming. Actually, this maybe isn't the worst one I've ever seen. <laughs> we're right next to each other. Morning. Thank you. We're shooting a tour of this distillery. Two cameras. Too much. The nature of these jobs is very often I learn about the dual micing thing when we arrive. Okay? And I'm limited for what gear I carry, how much I carry in my bag. Finished at the distillery. We're down in Old Town in Edinburgh. Um, food. I want something good. Last night we ate a shit pizza. Tourist over there getting the photos. I did a whole video in Edinburgh earlier in the year. Dan and I came down and did three days walking around it. You can on and watch it. <sighs> Healthy Pokeballs? Or chicken wings. Bed. Eggs Benny. I needed that. Just some, uh, just a little bit of grub. So it's like 1.30. Flights at 4 o'clock back to Belfast, so... Zoom back for that. Fucking shoulders are so sore. <laughs> A couple of pricks who jumped the queue. <sighs> ah, we thought we'd misjudged the queue and we just walked right past everyone. And then the looks, the looks we got. Oh, I want to. 
work trips are always so full on. The traveling, the continual talking, and then the actual shooting and the directing and working things. It's just like it's non-stop on the brain. See that minute you get out and you sit in your own car and it's just you and you control the noise, the air, the progression, you know, the speed you're driving at, you get in, you're like. Oh my God. It's too much. It's too much in 48 hours.